Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have four new shades from Rouge. I've purchased this long time ago. I think they came out during summer. So I also bought the La Poche de Jean to have a complete collection. I've swatched their lipsticks in another four of their iconic shades before. I really like the color and the design, which however looks similar to Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collab lipsticks a few years ago. This whole line is made in Italy, super comfortable and has a luxurious texture, and it has generously 4 grams of product. The only minus I would say it breaks easily, especially when the temperature is high since the bullet is super soft. I've changed my light source to an artificial one, but I hope the colors are still authentic and I also hope that I can get back to the natural light source as soon as possible. But as you know, they all have their advantage and disadvantages. Without further ado, let's get into the swatch. Marie is a brownish red just as described on their side, my favorite of the four. As far as I remember, my another favorite, Charlotte Tilbury's Walk of Shame is also a color like this. If you are a sucker for Walk of Shame, I highly recommend this. Even the comfortable matte formula feels the same. Maybe this one is more creamier. Elise is a pinky undertone peach nude. I have to be honest, this color is quite out of my comfort zone. I think this will look great for those who have pinky skin tone. For me, for an Asian skin tone, this is not a harmonious color I would say. But if I have to use it, I may just apply one single layer since this type of color with this kind of texture tend to amplify the lip details. Now, Clara is a type of nude I like to wear. It's described as brick red, but I would say it's a brick nude. I think it will go perfectly with a nude blush and a cat eye makeup look. This color is not as deep as demonstrated on their side. For some people, this might be like a concealer lip color. Andrea has much more red tone than Clara and is more Asian skin tone friendly. The magic of this formula is that it just blends with your own lip color and gives a very natural finish. And FYI, it doesn't have any fragrance, but it does have a subtle smell maybe from the wax they used in their ingredients. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you find this helpful. Bye, see you in my next video.